The title of my thesis project for a three-year degree in the sciences and techniques of linguistic and intercultural mediation is being an interpreter and knowing how to interpret. My primary objective is to address and deepen certain aspects and characteristics related to the training. A professional interpreter must possess the ability to discern, study and fully implement those nuances of communication that extend beyond mere linguistic knowledge. In order to do so, they must consider all aspects of communicative competence, as discussed in Chapter 3. The historical excursion addressed in the initial chapter serves the purpose of delineating a chronological framework to facilitate a comprehensive understanding of the genesis of one of the trades. Despite its historical significance, this practice was not previously acknowledged as such. It is nevertheless among the most ancient and indispensable for the evolution of intercultural relations and the contemporary world. The significance of communicative competence, which encompasses linguistic competence, and uh, non-verbal competence extends far beyond the mere ability to translate words from one language to another in the context of professional interpreting. The interpreter serves as an intermediary between disparate cultural and linguistic systems, which are characterized by their diverse grammatical structures. To fulfill this role effectively, the interpreter must also possess a nuanced understanding of human communication and, where necessary, be able to adapt or accentuate specific meanings or even convey nonverbal communication cues. In terms of communicative competence, an interpreter is required to adapt their communication in accordance with the context and language register of the interlocutor. It is not merely a matter of translating words, rather it is a matter of translating words in an appropriate manner, according to the professional context. To illustrate, an interpreter operating within a legal context is required to comprehend and convey not only the technical terminology associated with the law, but also the subtleties and cultural implications inherent in the discourse. In contrast, within the context of a medical interview, the interpreter must be capable of conveying a message in a clear and comprehensible manner that respects the patient's level of understanding, while ensuring that no crucial details are misrepresented or omitted. The nonverbal and paraverbal aspects of language, including silences, pauses, hesitations, intonation, speaking speed, vocal effects, volume, rhythm, and so forth, collectively constitute over 60% of human communication. If an interpreter were to limit their role to that of a mere translator, they would risk failing to convey crucial contextual nuances and thereby potentially misunderstand the intended meaning of the source text. To illustrate, an ostensibly natural utterance may be perceived as menacing or insincere when accompanied by a frigid demeanor and a rigid countenance. An adept interpreter must be capable of discerning these nuances and, when necessary, convey them through their interpretation. In a diplomatic assembly, for instance, the interpreter may observe a delegate nodding while speaking, a gesture signifying agreement or receptivity that should be articulated in the interpretation. Kinesics, on the other hand, concerns body movements that accompany communication, such as gestures, posture, and hand movements. A gesture that in one culture has a positive meaning, in another might be perceived as offensive. For example, the gesture of showing the thumbs up, common in many Western countries to indicate approval, may be interpreted as offensive in some Middle Eastern countries as made that of staring into the interlocutor's eyes, an action that is in a Western culture, on the other hand, denotes interest and participation on the part of the interlocutor. An experienced interpreter must be able to know and be able to correctly convey these cultural differences, both in his own nonverbal communication and in understanding that of the speaker. The study of proxemic concerns the physical space between people during communication. The appropriate distance between interlocutors varies across cultures, reflecting differing value systems. To illustrate, in numerous Latin American cultures, individuals typically adopt a closer stance during discourse. 
Conversely, in countries such as Japan or Finland, a more considerable distance is perceived as more appropriate. It is therefore incumbent upon the interpreter to be cognizant of this contrast to preclude the emergence of discomfort or misinterpretations. In a business encounter between a Japanese executive and an American client, for instance, the interpreter must exercise caution to maintain a physical distance that is respectful to both parties. To illustrate an international context, let us consider the case of an interpreter working during a negotiation between representatives of two companies from disparate countries. In addition to verbal translation, the interpreter is required to observe and analyze nonverbal communication dynamics. A representative may display a smile while expressing criticism. In a such a case, the interpreter must discern that the smile serves a diplomatic function and may therefore choose to make it more explicit in their interpretation, potentially mediating and softening the tone of the criticism. In a judicial context, a witness who responds to questions with hesitation and frequent pauses may be perceived as insecure or insincere. The interpreter, who is tasked with conveying not only the words, but also the emotional expression of the witness and potentially their poses, must consider these hesitations without influencing the audience's or the judge's judgment. In the other words, for an interpreter to be able to do his or her job properly, all these grammars are indispensable tools to be used in, the, in conjunction with the use of the various tools and technologies that have been developed, especially since the ends of the two world wars, which we discussed in chapter two. Ultimately, an effective interpreter is a professional who combines linguistic, extra-linguistic and sociocultural competence with technical tools and a keen awareness of non-verbal signals and interpersonal dynamics. Without this attention to detail and the different grammars that characterize communication, the interpreter risks altering, reducing, or misunderstanding the deeper meaning of a communication, which in turn compromises the overall understanding between the parties involved. Knowing how to interpret, which we have been talking about, is therefore the combination of all these elements that constitute the basis baggage and know-how of an interpreter in order to be able to carry out his or her work in any context.